Excellent. So when you transition to off-leash training, you basically, all you're doing is doing everything I've taught you to do, but without the leash. The key here is by taking him off the leash, by taking him off the leash, the key, I love it. The enthusiasm in your eyes is awesome. Um, when you take him off the leash, it prevents you from cheating with the leash. Okay, have the dog come to you. Sit. Excellent. See if you can walk around the dog. Tell him to stay the whole time. Perfect. So what you're doing uh, now, but what do you have to do yet? What do you still have to do? Did he turned 180 degrees. What do you have to do? You have to correct him. Otherwise, we all know the adage, especially if we're a parent, give him an inch, they take a mile. mile. Excellent. There you go. So the reason I had you go behind him is I don't know how much training you do behind him. And that's why he wanted to turn because he's not used to it. So remember, one of the things about challenging is when you challenge a dog, you're actually teaching him something new. When you challenge a dog, you actually expect the dog to make a mistake. Because they, obviously, if, they, if I asked you what the square root of 144 is right now, you wouldn't know the answer. No. But if I taught you it, how would I know you didn't know the answer? What's the square root of 144? See, that, that's how I know you know. It is 12. Good. Um, get this kid out of here. He obviously belongs in college. But let's say you didn't know it. I would know you didn't know it because you would say the wrong answer. If you said the wrong answer, then I would teach it to you. That's kind of what you have to do with Remy. All of your training now with Remy is based off of what does he still have trouble with? So you just said he has trouble with what? Right and left. So where should a lot of your focus be? Right, Remy? Excellent. But you, you see, even I, I haven't said it this entire lesson, but remember how I say your kids are so much better at loving this dog up than you? <laughs> However, had the dog listening off leash. That was awesome. Call him back. No, don't go to him. Call him back. Perfect. Remember, he's the one supposed to be doing the commands, not you. Say no. No. Down. No. No. Down. Excellent. Now, this would also be an example when I said if the kids... Because if you would have done that, I would have corrected you. Let the dog come forward. Even you, I'd have probably still corrected because you're old enough. The younger the person, if the dog makes the fact that the dog is listening to him right now at that level is great. You are what I consider a young adult now, so you, you, I expect a little bit more out of you. You're a woman, so I expect nothing. No, I can't. oh wait, that's on video. I didn't say that. Not, delete, delete. Abort, abort. Hi, baby. Perfect. Say no. No is your power word. Nice praise. So what we're going to do is transition. So you tell him to stay. Don't let him move. You start walking over there. You can say stay also. So you both can say stay right now. Stay. Both keep going forward. Keep going forward. Now, you take over. You start sitting down. You keep talking to the dog. They'll stay. stay. There we go. Perfect. So get his attention, but be ready with the word no. Excellent. Wooby wooby woos. Now walk behind him. Just walk to that corner over there. Excellent. Excellent. Have him come to you. Perfect. Woobers. And the praise. I love the praise.